hey everyone welcome back so guys in this tutorial i am going to show how you can create issues in jira automatically on receiving a form submission using type form application so guys you can use this integration that i'm about to show you for uh, improving your customers experience for raising the tickets and for raising the issues and you can also smartly and efficiently resolve those issues of your customers so guys you can see on my screen now this will be the flow of this automation here we have created a form for our customers for raising the tickets okay so we are using type form here in place of this you can use google forms or jot form or any other form building application so guys as and when this form is going to be submitted by your user or customer a issue will be created in jira software automatically so guys jira software is a uh, issue tracking and project management tool so you can use this software very easily to resolve the issues of your customers and guys to make this connection between Typeform and Jira software we are using Pavli Connect which is an integration and automation tool and the best part is anyone can set up this automation very easily without any coding skills so guys now let me show you how you can also do this to set up this automation guys first of all you need to reach the dashboard of Pavli Connect application and to reach here you can use this link pavli.com slash connect so we have pasted this same in the description as well from here guys you can set up your free Pabli connect account by clicking on this sign up free button and you will get 100 free automation tasks every month okay so sign up right now and then log in to reach here on the dashboard and guys here you have to create a workflow of automation for that just click on this create workflow button and here you can give a suitable name to your workflow so i'm giving the name as type form to jira software okay and now you have to click on this create button and you can see the workflow page started loading up here so this is the workflow page so neat and clean and here you will find these two things only the trigger and the action so this automation is going to work on these two things so the trigger is that event which is going to start this workflow and the action would be the response towards the trigger so as in this use case submission of a form in type form will act as a trigger and the action towards that trigger would be to create an issue in jira okay so first of all you need to set up the trigger so from this choose app field you have to choose the trigger application as type form so search for type form here here it is select it and the trigger event would be new entry in the form select this option then click on connect and here you can read it is written instant this means whenever anyone is going to submit the form the data will be captured here instantly that means that means the workflow is going to trigger instantly on the form submission right so now click on connect here and from here select add new connection then click on connect with type form and that will bring you to this window so it is asking to select the account and give the access to public connect to read things and to fetch the data so just click on accept here and you will be connected with type form right so you can see the authorization successful and we are it is showing connected and here it is asking for the form's name so here let me show you uh, this is a form i am using named as my type form and i have two forms created here so here it is showing you can see we have the two forms created here so in this list it will show you the all the forms that you have created from here you can select that form by which you want to uh, create an issue or raise a ticket so select i'm selecting this form now click on save and send test request and it will start showing this waiting for the response so this means now we can perform a test submission this means we can fetch the response of this connection that we have just created with type form for that to happen i am going to fill the form that i have created manually okay and we are going to fetch the data of that form submission here so I'm going to put some random values or some test values you can say in the form and we are going to uh, collect the test response here. Let me show you. So this is the form I have created actually and I have some questions here to ask for with my customer. So I'm asking the name of uh, the customer's first name. So I'm putting the first name as let's say dummy. This is the first name. 
last name is name only email address let's say dummy at the rage this is the email address okay here it is asking for the department or work profile so i'm putting the department as um, developer full stack okay so uh, we are ra raising an issue on the behalf of any developer we, who is our user or customer okay so now click on okay and here it is uh, we are asking for the ticket description so i am writing the description as issues in uh, compilation okay so I have just uh, write a issue description and, and now I'm submitting this form and you can see the form is submitted. Let's check in our workflow if we got the form submissions data. And here you can see we have received this response. So here in this response, it is showing uh, the submissions date and time, the form's name. And here it is asking, uh, it is showing the titles that we have asked, first name, last name, email address, ticket description and now you can see it started showing the data that has been filled like the first name is this dummy the last name was this name the email was this okay and the this is the uh, next question which was the department question and here the description of the issue right so we got the data the test data now and with the help of this test data, we are going to create an issue in Jira. So to create issues in Jira, we need to connect Jira here in the section step. So from this choose F field, search for Jira software. Here it is. Select it and the action event would be create issue. Then click on connect. And from this window, select add new connection. Then click on connect with Jira software. All right. So that will bring you to the login window if you are not logged in but I have already logged in. So it is just asking to grant the access request to public connect. And from this authorize for field, you have to select your subdomain or your uh, Atlassian's domain, which is this mine is this. So I'm working in this project. This is the subdomain of my project and I'm clicking on accept. And here you can see we are now starting to get connect. So we are now connected and here you can see it is showing the base URL. That's what I'm talking about. Here you can see the base URL is the same pably.atlassian.net. This is my Jira application. Here it is showing the same base URL. So you can select it from here. And here it is asking for the project's name. So I have many projects created here in Jira. And currently I'm working in this project, Pably Connect Integrations. So I'm going to select the name of this same project from this project names list here it, you can see public connect integrations is here so select your project like this all right and then it will ask for the issue type okay so here it is asking now for the issue type so you can select the issue type i'm selecting improvement and here it is asking for the summary description priority and all these things so now i am going to use the data that i have received as the test data here in the first step all right so I'm going to map these labels here. So in the summary label, I'm going to map uh, the department's name or the this full step developer thing. So this will be the summary and this will be the description. So to map these things, just click here on the summary field and it will show you the type form step in the drop down. And when you click on it, it will show you all the data that you have received in the first step here only like this. From here, you can map the received labels here all right so here is the text label i have received i'm mapping it like this similarly map the description which you will find here like this okay you can select the priority and here it is asking for labels so if you have a label you can enter here you can assign this issue to any of your team members working in jira so i'm assigning this to ashmita mandal okay and here it is asking for the reporter ID. So you will find the reporter ID from your Jira application only. So let me show you. 
this is my Jira issues application, sorry, Jira application. And here you can see we have this profile icon and the one who have created this account, you have to uh, find out the ID of that person and that will be our reporter. Reporter means whenever you are going to update anything in that issue, a notification will be delivered to that person, okay, to the reporter. So when you click on profile here, this page will open up and here you can see in the top search bar after this people and slash we have this string of integers and alphabets this is the reporter id actually so you can copy this string of integers and alphabets like this from this top search bar only and you have to paste it here in this reporter id field like this okay this is the reporter id now it is asking for the due date of the issue so guys uh, let's say Mm, you want to resolve your customer issues in 24 hours. So you need to uh, put a due date of this issue here in this format you can see. So to automatically put a date here, we can use a feature of Pabli Connect. Let me show you. So you just have to uh, scroll back here and in between these two steps, you will find this plus icon. Click on this plus icon and another action step will open up in between these two steps and from this this action step I'm going to use a feature of Fably Connect which is called a uh, date time formatter search for date time formatter and in the action event we'll we are going to use this modify current date option so with the help of date time formatter you can modify and uh, change the format of the date and the time so I am using this modify current date option so with the help of this we are going to add one day more to the date on which we have received the issue or we have received the form submission via type form and we are going to add one day to that date so that we, we are going to get the due date of the issue resolution okay so now click on connect here and it is asking for the dates format so remember to select the format at it, as it is asked here in this field this was the format so you can select the format here just by clicking here and it will show you the format here in the last okay this was the same format that we want select this now select your time zone so i'm working in india so my time zone is asia kolkata you have to select yours now it is asking for the operation so i'm using addition operation and i want to add one day to this current date so select the unit as days and put the value here as one okay now click on save and send test request and you will find this date time label in this response and here you will find the uh, due date. So this will act as the due date uh, for our issue resolution. So I can map this here now. So to map it here, you just have to click here and you can see it is not showing the previous steps right now. So this means we have added another one more step after this step. Okay, so it is not showing the previous steps. So you need to refresh this connection with Jira for that to happen. Just click on this connected button and from here, uh, you will find this existing connection option of here. So guys, when you, whenever you create any connection with any application here, the connections are saved in your account. So if uh, in future you want to connect with the same software again, you can use the same connections that you have already connected. Okay. So for that, just keep this select existing connection option selected and click on save one more time and your recent connection will be refreshed. So you can see we are connected again and here now when you are going to click on this due date field now you can see it started showing the previous steps again. So from the second step map this date time label like this okay and it is asking for the estimate and all other things so right now we do not need, need these things so I am just leaving these things blank. Now you can check your connection with Jira by clicking on save and send test request and a new issue will be created in Jira in front of you automatically let me show you. Uh, where is my project here? Let me show you. This is our public connect projects. <clears throat> All right. And this was the la last issue I have created uh, PCI 23. Okay. Name uh, the, this is the title of the issue workflows, right? Let me click on save and send test request here in our workflow. And let's see if we got a new issue created or not. And here you can see in the response, we got a new issue with the key PCI 24. Okay. Let's check in our Jira software. I'm refreshing the issues section 
and here you can see we got a new issue PCI 24 with the title developer full stack and the description is issue in compilation and here it is assigned to this person this is the reporter that's how it is going to work guys we are done setting up this automation and you have to set up this automation only once after that you don't have to do anything manually in this workflow from now onwards as and when you are going to receive any form submission via this type form the issues will be created here in Jira automatically without any manual efforts and guys you can use the same workflow that I have created because I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone it in your own free Pavli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. And guys, we are open to ideas. If you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business, please do let us know in the comment section. And if you like our work, please subscribe to our channel.